question about it being suicide. Even if I didn't have Dr. Terminer's report. Miss Lewis was in constant pain. These tests in Boston were a last faint hope. When that was eliminated? Ben, has Jennifer been told? Yes. She accepted it very quietly. Poor thing, she probably doesn't understand. I think she does, Mrs. Porter. I think her aunt had uh, prepared her. Doctor, what will this mean for us? Jennifer's visiting. I mean, there, there was no formal arrangement. Well, has Jennifer been happy these past few days? She certainly seems to be. And you? Oh, very much so, Doctor. Then at the moment, what else matters? Jennifer has a home with two people who love her, and you have what you said you wanted above everything else, a child. Go. Make get you nice and warm. Jennifer, if you ever feel like talking about your Aunt Mercy, I mean, I know you must miss her very much. Aunt Mercy is happier now. So I am too. Jennifer, that scar, how did you get it? I don't know. It's always been there. Looks like some kind of animal bite. Maybe. I don't remember. Maggie, Kevin Pierce. I've been looking for a semi-legitimate excuse to call you. And the storm's just supplied it. I'm listening. According to the Department of Highways, stretches of the road to Brampton are under three feet of water. You shouldn't try to drive home tonight. Well, well, I'll have to. We still don't have a phone and Ben's expecting me. Call Claire Allen. She'll get a message to Ben. Well, I'd have to get a hotel room and... Stay at my apartment. Look of outrage. At ease, Maggie. Unfortunately, this time, it's only a friendly gesture. I won't be there. Okay. Well, I don't... Know. I have to go to Boston. The key will be with the manager. Besides, the hotels are full, so you don't have much choice. Well, it, you sure would be all right. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. I'm glad to be of service. I'll see you soon. Okay, Kevin. Bye-bye. What are you doing here? I thought I had you all nice and cozy. I'm lonely. Can I stay here with you? Just for a little while? Sure. I could use some company myself. That a girl. Comfy? Uh-huh. Good. What did I do to deserve that? I love you, Ben Porter. Likewise. But Jenny, it's late. You better get some sleep. I'm not glad to see me. Which confirms my suspicion. You've been avoiding me. We've been busy. Ben sold another painting. 
The gallery's promised him a one-man show in June. I wasn't talking about Ben. I haven't spoken to you since the night you stayed at my apartment. Kevin, don't mention that. Why? Well, I didn't think it was important. You lied to a jealous husband. <laughs> Why, were you afraid he'd come after me with this? I didn't lie. Ben assumed I'd stayed at the hotel. So why bother to set him straight? I'd like to give him a better reason to be jealous. <laughs> Kevin, you really... Look, Maggie. I'm Crystal Alden in the Thanksgiving play at school. I want to show you the costume they've given me to wear. Very authentic. Jennifer, how long have you been standing there? A little while. The report's not conclusive, but instinct tells me you are most probably going to have a baby. You're incredulous. Suddenly, after seven years? <laughs> You're part of a commonplace. The surest way to have a baby of your own is to adopt one. Oh, Dr. Terminer, if only this were true. What a Christmas present for Ben. The odds are in our favor. But suppose you and I keep this beautiful possibility our secret for another month, huh? I won't tell Ben. Not till I'm 100% sure. Oh, but... Wouldn't it be a lovely way to start the new year? Yeah. Thank you. Remember, he promised not a word. Cross my heart, lovey, but I'm thrilled. <laughs> Oh, Maggie, you're a very brave giving a New Year's Eve party. I've never had the courage. Brings out the worst in everyone. You know we're at our best when we're at our worst. Listen, everybody, I'd like to propose a toast to our handsome host. May the new year bring greater and greater recognition of his creative powers. I'd like to offer an amendment. To our charming hostess, may she share with her husband a sense of creative fulfillment. How oh, lovely. 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 Absolutely lovely, Doctor. Oh. Hey, it's Happy New, new year. year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. I've been maneuvering for this moment all evening. Happy New Year, Maggie. Happy New Year. Excuse me. Ben, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, I am a nice Ben. Hmm? Please don't talk about Kevin. Not tonight. I have something very important to tell you. Okay. Dr. Terminer told me this afternoon. There isn't the slightest doubt that I'm pregnant. What? We're going to have a baby. A baby? <laughs> Our own baby? <laughs> oh, Maggie. <laughs> oh, Maggie. This was the only thing missing. Now we've got it all. Our own baby. Pardon. Last fall, Mister said I was to clean out the cellar before spring. That's all right. I just hadn't realized you'd started yet. bad on the one side.
Name those who were thy mediators with the evil one. Make carry. Confess, make carry. Confess. Burn it! Burn it! You've no idea when Mr. and Mrs. Porter will be returning? No, sir. Well, I don't think I'll wait. Will you tell Mrs. Porter that I called? Yes, sir. My cane. I'm sure I had it with me. I don't see it, sir. Strange. Well, if it should turn up, perhaps Mrs. Porter could bring it to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. thing about Mr. Dane, wasn't it? What do you mean? What happened? Oh, he fell down the cellar steps and broke his neck. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess the wood rotted out while he was away in Florida. That's terrible. Yeah, he's a nice fellow. Village is going to miss him. Hey, this must be a special shock for you seeing him just yesterday. Well, I didn't see him. I haven't seen him since, well, since he left for Florida. Is that right? But well, he come to visit you yesterday. He did? Sure, sure. I saw him turn into your lane. Oh, yeah. Ben and I spent the day in Lowell yesterday. Ah, that's how you missed him, then. Bye-bye, Mrs. Porter. Bye. Jennifer, did Mr. Dane come to visit us while we were in Lowell yesterday? Mr. Dane? Mm-hmm. Well, if anyone came yesterday, I didn't see him. In that year of 1692, there were living at the place known as Crowhaven Farm, its owner, one Daniel Carey, and his wife, Margaret, or Meg. Their union had not been blessed with children, and it was generally acknowledged Mistress Meg Carey was barren. And how, Mistress Meg Carey, did ye, a barren woman, conceive a child if ye did not compact 